What is up you guys, my name is Austin Marks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm currently a respiratory therapist and I've been a respiratory therapist for about two years now. Um, today's video I'm going to be talking about Heliox. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what is Heliox? So Heliox is a mixture of helium and oxygen. So why do we use this? Um, helium is one of the most dense gases um, within the periodic table. Besides hydrogen, which hydrogen is very combustible, we do not want to use that. Um, we do not want to put that in the body because it just makes us more acidic. So helium is a tasteless, odorless gas. It doesn't really uh, get absorbed by the body. So that's why we use helium and we mix it with oxygen. So like I said, it's more dense so it can move through the airways much easier and much more smoothly so typically we use this when there's some kind of obstruction or uh, if a patient is having some kind of asthma attack so the airways are tight they're not allowing much airflow to go through them so therefore we use the heliox um, which allows the air to pass through the obstruction so if a child may have swallowed uh, like a lego or something it allows the air to move past that into the lungs or with the asthma attack that airways are clamped down and maybe bronchodilators are not working, uh, steroids are not working, we'll go ahead and use the heliox that way it can get down to the alveoli and create the gas exchange. So like I said, some of the most common uses for this include uh, obstructions, asthma attacks, or asthma in general, uh, croup, RSV, COPD, bronchiolitis, um, anything that may be obstructing the airway or just causing the airways to clamp down is pretty much what I said. So I talked about one way we would use it how do we use it? So there's a few different ways that we can use uh, Heliox. We can use it through the vent, we can use it with a non rebreather mask, we can give it with medications su such as through it like a nebulizer. Um, it all depends what the situation is and when do we want to use what. Um, when using Heliox you also need to take in consideration of what ratio you're using. So what I mean by this is that I can either give 20% oxygen and 80% helium which is technically 21% oxygen and 79% helium or I can give 30% uh, oxygen, 70% helium or even 60% helium and 40% oxygen so it honestly all depends um, how much oxygen the patient needs for example so if a little kid just swallowed that Lego and he doesn't really need that excess oxygen however he needs oxygen to get down to his alveoli we may just use the 21 uh, 79 ratio just to go ahead and get the air down until we can officially go ahead and get that Lego out if we have an asthma patient who's having a pretty severe attack and they need some extra oxygen we may go ahead and use uh, the 70 30 it honestly all depends and the more oxygen that you use compared to the helium, the gas goes ahead and gets a little heavier, a little bit more dense, and therefore it doesn't go in the airway as smoothly as if you were using more helium. So it, you just want to look at your patient and say, okay, what's going to be the best ratio for my patient? Sometimes we may just have to go ahead and use the uh, 2080 ratio because we want to use the nebulizer and none of the air or the medication can get down to the alveoli or the lower airways, so therefore we use the nebulizer and the medication with the heliox to go ahead and get down into the airways. So you want to know these different ratios, like I said, you have 80-20, 70-30, and 60-40. So I have different conversion factors for these different ratios. So for example, um, if I'm using 80-20, I want to go ahead and use the conversion factor of 1.8. So if I'm giving my patient 10 liters, I want to actually give him 18 liters on the flow meter. So this is because the gas is more dense, it's more lighter, so therefore it doesn't get as much flow. That little ball is made for oxygen, it's made for the density of oxygen, so it throws off everything a little bit. So if I'm using 70-30, I need to go ahead and use the conversion factor 1.6, and then if I'm using 60-40, I need to use the conversion factor 1.4. So I put these um, ratios along with their conversion factors to the side of me here. So if you need to pause the video, write those down, just remember them. Because I did have a question on my TMC or my boards that asked me about this. So this is some pretty important information that you guys need to know. Typically if you're doing this in the clinical setting, um, on all the devices they have a little sheet saying okay if you're giving this much oxygen at this ratio, this is what the flow meter should be set to. Everything is kind of self-explanatory. 
So where's the most common places that you're going to see Heliox used? It's either going to be down in the emergency room or up in the ICU. Uh, it honestly all depends on the situation. Um, like I said, if an asthma patient comes in and they're having trouble breathing, you may want to put that Heliox on right away if none of the bronchodilators or steroids aren't working as well. Typically, helium is a brown tank, and heliox is a brown and green tank, so make sure to keep your eyes out for that. That was also another question on my board. So, um, it asked about the tanks and the colors. So, if you guys have any other questions about heliox, um, just leave in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one.